you have to know the personality of your brothers. Like some, for instance, some of them, right, they might be very kanchong if you like, if like, they're like, this is not working. Or oh, like, you oh, like, oh, you cannot have this. <laughs> it's like, ah, how? Then after, I also don't know. Eh. Then after, he go and panic. Then make you panic. Waza, waza, waza. And welcome to our coffee shop. I'm your host, Minik Leung, and welcome to another episode of the Kopi Bro Show presented by the Chit Chatter Podcast Network. Now, for those of you that are tuning in via YouTube, any sort of podcasting platform, hi again. Thank you so much for giving us a try, for giving us a listen. We're just a Singaporean duo that love to attend Wed- weddings. Oh, not really, but weddings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of people that have gone through a wedding, Brandon, how are you doing? You doing well? I'm doing well, doing well. Doing well, doing well. Do you have uh, any weddings that you have to attend this year? I just attended a wedding just on Saturday. Uh, Saturday oh, is uh, it? Yeah, yeah, the past Saturday. Oh, okay, okay. Where was it? Uh, the, I don't know. The Artemis Bar and Grill. Oh, uh, is that, that, uh, that? Uh, Capital Green, I think. Is it yeah, yeah, yeah. Capital Green. Yeah, Capital Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very yeah. nice restaurant. And honestly... Oh, it's a very nice restaurant. Yeah, it's a nice restaurant. The food was nice. And I was very surprised. The wedding, was, the wedding ceremony was very nice as well. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But I noticed, right? Do you do you find it also like a lot of uh after, especially after the C nineteen, right? A lot of people are going to restaurants. Yes, and I don't really get it because <laughs> <laughs> I've compared it myself. You know, like like previously when I mean I were doing like the search, right? Like mm. for wedding costs and everything, right? We we also assume that the restaurants are a lot cheaper than. Then, they're not leh. They're not. They're not. Yeah. If I calculate it per head, it's like it adds up to like, and the thing because the amount of perks and everything you like you have to you have to buy is you have to spend a lot of money. Yeah. 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 To, yeah. to cover for the perks that the the the, the banquet hall can actually give you, like a hotel room, like the alcohol, like I just I think that just the like alcohol alone is like the we eat wine or beer. It's like it costs a bomb already in a restaurant. Yeah. Plus something that I always very curious, right? Like if you do it at a restaurant. After that, you just go like home, uh. like you just go yeah. to. Do you know like I get what you mean? Yeah, it's so weird. It's always something <laughs> I always, I always think about yeah. like. So they just go home, like yeah. I I think it makes sense, right? If the couple already has a house together, you you get what I mean? Mm. Yeah, 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 like, you're like just if going home, still, yeah, yeah, you're going home to like your own, you guys own place. Because anyway, since you already have a house together, your many a times you you you, you do really, you know people who when you have once you have your own place, you don't really like to go for hotel stay because you you already renovated your house very nice. Yeah, it's, like your, it's, your, it's like your own. Yeah, it's like uh, why waste money on a hotel when you when yeah, you're gonna yeah, be yeah. staying together anyways, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of the times it's like. So after the wedding, they just go. Yeah, to the guy stay. go back to that, yeah, the guy go back to the guy's house or or like they both go back to the guy's house. <laughs> I'm just like yeah, oh wow, this with the parents in the car. They're just like wow. <laughs> yeah, plus like to be frank, right? Uh, a lot of the times, they they sort of save the, you know, like the, you know, <laughs> for the the first night, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, love making yeah. all this ah. Yeah, uh, the, isn't it a bit awkward wet. to like you know yeah, like, yeah, go yeah. home and your parents like sleep well, <laughs> <laughs> see you in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> see you in the morning, see three of you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> For us this week, uh, fun topic. We're actually going to be talking a bit about like planning weddings. So like the yeah, wedding yeah. planner. Actually, we know a lot of uh people that are going to be getting married this year and next year because the COVID the restrictions yeah. they become more more ease la. so we thought like for the letter W right it'd be quite fun for us to do wedding planning because both of us have gone through I would say like very big wedding plannings like uh, yeah, extensive yeah. wedding plannings but uh, they 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 vary based on the timing of each other's weddings because yours was a big wedding yeah yeah, and which involved a lot of planning and logistics or this but mine was a a C, a C wedding a COVID wedding yeah. where there was also a lot of planning oh, and yeah. logistics yeah, was, yeah. Uh, super a lot yeah yeah, and then some, some uh, something around that is that both of us had a church wedding, and then also we we're both the best man at each other's wedding, so we both had to rely on each other a lot during yeah. the day lah, to, yeah, to get yeah. get stuff done. Yeah, but so we're gonna talk a bit about like the importance of the budgeting. We'll go through the different phases of the budget, like how you should spend the money. Then after that, we'll also go about the role of your friends, the the like the different roles or this. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about 
things that you don't know until you actually go through the wedding or like plan the wedding. So it's like you you will not know or experience this until you actually do it. Lah. Then you'll be like, oh, I didn't expect this or I didn't expect to go through this. Lah. All right, Brendan, let's get right into the episode. All right, Brendan. Uh, first off, right, uh, I would say that the key thing for everyone that is planning a wedding, the main thing is always the budget. There are a lot of costs, like people when they say wedding, oh, they just think like I booked the wedding banquet. But that's not true. It's like you have to add like maybe like 10 different things to add correct, up to your like, correct, yeah, 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 wedding budget. People always like, you know, like they, they, discount, they keep thinking like, oh, I just need to pay the, I need to settle the wed- uh, the banquet hall. Everything else can come after that. But then you realize that all these small, small costs like, like $100 here, $200 here, $300 here, it, it adds up to become a lot uh. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, plus a lot of the time, uh, the things that you're going to be, the segments that you're going to be talking about later, right? A lot of it is like upfront payment, like half mm. or like, uh, yeah. So you correct, have to correct. plan your budget accordingly, and then um, I was we also give examples of like how people save money, like yeah, from our experiences correct. and stuff like that, lah. All right. Uh, first off, I think the most important thing when you plan your budget is the location. Okay. Mm. So uh, we're not we're not going to be talking about your the church wedding stuff like that because I think that's more specific. I think we just focus mainly on the dinner side, lah. Yeah. Dinner or lunch. So uh, I think that important for you to clarify first is like how important is it uh for you to do a dinner how important is it for you to do a lunch because that's, that's yeah. true yeah yeah whether, like, whether it, does it matter to it you does, or not does, yeah the first thing is does it matter to both of you and w- the like i said end of the day like also like how harmonious your like whether your your family both side like, cares about like you know these things or whether yeah i feel like also also the fact that whether your grand you and your grand grandparents are close because usually grandparents are they are a lot more uh, nitty gritty about yeah, traditional about all this you know like oh, yeah. must get married at night must have a suckling pig at the quality, all this. <laughs> <laughs> for yourself how did you plan your uh, location do you look at it from the perspective of like okay I'm planning it based on uh, what they can offer as a hotel Mm. Or is it like uh, the payment modes, the payment accepted? Or also is it like uh, the food, the reputation of it? Like what do you consider? Lah? Or ah, like is it the location yeah. or this? What, what what was it for you? I think especially when you're just dabbling into like locations, right? You go for those wedding fairs, right? Yeah. Yes. You go for those wedding fairs. That, that's like a teaser. Like, oh, like what, how you get yourself in the, into the wedding planning mood. Like, oh, mm. wow, this one I need to pay. Like, you don't get the gift bag. And like, you go to try a lot of different places. A lot of these wedding fairs, like they, they even have food tasting is there. So for me and Amanda, right? I feel, felt, felt like for the first thing we decided is that the range of our budget. I feel, I feel like that's one of the main things that you, you have to decide on. Like, for example, what's the max you, you feel like you all should go for your wedding banquet? Because I believe that that's the first thing that you and your wife talk about. It's like big wedding or small wedding, right? It's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the first thing. It's like, whether do we want like have like 300, or like 400, 500 people in, in, in our wedding or like maybe 400, 300 yeah. plus? Or do we just want to have an intimate 100 people wedding? So then, it, yeah. then if you have a 100 people wedding, then maybe it, it opens up the, 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 the choices of like, oh, okay, then maybe uh, we can spend like 200 plus plus per person. We are, mm-hmm. That's our max. You know, like maybe 220. Then, uh, yeah. then, you, then you can see the range there. Yeah. So like, but for, and then uh, for the bigger wedding, you have to take note that because you're having a bigger wedding, so your down payment is a lot more. So you, you, have, to, you have to keep in mind that, like, that, 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 that issue. Yeah. yeah, and not only that, like, uh, if you're going for a dinner banquet, uh, the places that offer the op- the space for a large wedding is mm, not that much. Not that much. So, correct. Yeah, so you have to factor that like into consideration. Like for instance, like uh, uh, Raffles Hotel, like they only do thirty tables. They will not do mm. more than that. For you, right? Uh, what I remember most about your wedding is that you prior prioritize the size because you wanted to put a dance floor in the middle. Yes, la. yes, yes, yes. Like, like my my father also tell me, it's like the advice he gave me: squarish ballroom so that everybody can see, no yes. pillars so nobody is blocked. Yes, yeah. high ceiling, yeah. high ceiling so it doesn't feel like you're you're, you're getting suffocated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so it's not too noisy. Not too yeah. easy, correct, and like you, like, like at, at least it, it'll feel more open. Yeah, it's one of the key things that I consider, right? Is the ceiling, like, cause I went to go and see a lot of venues, right? The moment I see like um the ceiling was low, I was like, this is gonna be a problem. I can't remember one of them, like Mandarin, one of the Mandarin, right? The yeah, famous is like the chili crab, the chili crab. Oh uh, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So they are they are famous for the food. But at the same time, right? If you look at the layout of the hall, right, it matters because the layout yes. of the hall is the is the is in the shape of a fan, 
which is not conducive for a lot of things. So for instance, your walk-in, right, it's not ideal because it's like mm. a curved walk-in. If you have to walk straight, then down. Like the ceiling is low, too all this, low, right? Yes, you feel yes, like yes. it's, yeah. Yeah, because I've been through weddings yeah. where it's like the ceiling is low and then you feel like, wow, it's like everyone's just speaking very loud or like you cannot yeah, hear the speech. You can't, really, or you cannot, yeah, yeah. you can't really hear the speech. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. You know, yeah I feel like, especially for Bangkok, it's like, it varies from like couple to couple. Like, I believe it, like, some people value like food and then that's the reason why like they don't care about like the low ceiling and like, they, like they, mm. they feel the food is damn good or like, or some of them is nostalgic reasons like, oh, this is the, f-. I, I heard it for, I think I went to one hotel which was like one of the, the worst ballroom I ever went to. Before. <laughs> it's like half, it's like, Half the ballroom is low ceiling, right? The other half is high. Yeah, why would they do that? Yeah, so the it's like, like the weirdest thing. Yeah, so it's like the, the when you're walking in, right? Because it's it's all low ceiling. Then suddenly, once you pass like a certain area, right? Suddenly it goes all the way, but it goes out to a high ceiling for the like the remainder table. So it's like you know, like the the the, the good seats are the, the first, I think, fifteen. Then the the, the, the non nonsensical one, the the other ten, the other twenty, uh, ten or fifteen. Yeah, so it was yeah, yeah, yeah. so weird the layout. Yeah, but then after they say like, oh, this is this is a hotel where we, that, we, that we had their they had their first stay K or some it's, like, it's, like, it's some ah. nostalgic reason that, that, that they they chose the hotel. Then I was just like, oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what were you? And the food wasn't that great. So because like you know usually if the if like the place is not that nice but the food is superb, then you just like must be the food. But it was the food yeah. was just like yeah normal. Okay lah. Yeah. yeah, but I know like a lot of uh people right they prioritize the reputation of the hotel. So like, uh, for example, right, when I was looking at the banquet locations, I, I went to at least 20 different like banquet locations because initially we wanted to have a big wedding, like at least 40, 50 mm, tables. Yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the venues, right, that I went to is Orchard Hotel. Uh, when I went in there, uh, I did not know that they just renovated the, the ballroom or this. Lah. But the exterior of the hotel is not nice. The car park is not good. It's not easy to access the lobby and the lift or this. Lah. But when you go into the hall, right, you realize that they renovate until very, very nice. So oh, you have, yeah. yeah. And then when they renovated it very nice, right, it's like the LCD screen is like the same one as uh, Park Royal. You know, like those very like grand and beautiful looking LCD screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It can lay out to be like a 25 foot uh, banquet hall so if you just want to do 25 right okay you can have a 25 one if you want to extend it to like 55 65 tables right they can just open another oh. hall right it'll just be very nice oh, wow. yeah but a lo- but the reason why we didn't like it right is because the outside is really very bad or like the mm. yeah yeah like, or like it the ruins the exp- is very bad I, I get yeah. It, yeah I get what you mean it ruins the experience like like before people reach really they already like feel very like you, know, uh-huh. like, you get what I mean like, yeah, like huh this place oh this yeah. place is horrible eh. and then only when they should be yeah. like oh wow it's really actually quite nice but it's like while we leading up to that place it's really like like horrendous that's the reason why I also recommend always recommend my friends right don't get married at uh, try not to get married at MBS it's like very uh, if you're very unlucky right and like because you can't book out every single ballroom so let's say if th- there will probably be m- many events on the same day of your wedding yes. so it's just like you know it's you might confusing. have a like a mini expo or something like that. Yeah, or like a mini right, convention like, next to you or whatever. I went for a wedding one, right? There, there was like a like a bank D there was a bank uh D and D opposite. So it's like a costume party. Then it's it's mm. very confusing and, and like the other side got another wedding. So it's like mm. and all the ballrooms looks the same. And then also I think lastly, right, before we move over to bank the like the other hidden costs or this, right? Uh I think payment modes is damn important. Oh like you have to consider yes, the, yes, yeah. Yes. A lot of different places right they vary the upfront payment the amount and then uh like certain places they are more open to negotiate like okay i'll like say i will do this amount but i will i'll pay like less or like whatever lah. They, or you can adjust like okay i'll cut the alcohol the thing but you adjust the the table fluctuations or this right but there are certain hotels right you have to know right that they're not they will never budge yeah on, like, they will never budge especially yeah. like Wow, well, like uh jw marriott like, they will never JW move. Marriott. <laughs> yeah. yeah and jw marriott right is like uh, wow, looks very nice or this, right? Honestly, uh, I've never, I don't know, I've never been to their wedding dinner or this, so I don't know the food reputation is like what. So I, I also mm. never hear from other people or what. But uh, they want one hundred percent upfront payment. Yeah. Wow. So it's like you have to pay by the by your banquet, right? And then they have what is known as like staggered payments. It's like by three months before, eh? Yeah. Three months before you must have eighty percent pay upfront. I think like ten like. Uh, at least 10 days before the thing you must have paid 100% full 100% yeah yeah. 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 before the wedding even starts you already paid fully full for the wedding yeah Yeah. so for yourself what was it like 
the payment. Why also so like uh, the, the, that's one thing that we prioritize as well because we dis- while discussing right, we told them that because we wanted to get the cash back from UOB so it's like a monthly cash back so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like there's a limit for each uh. so we, yeah, yeah, we told them can, can they do for us like instead of paying like I think it was like supposed to be like maybe ten percent upfront. Then, um, I think like nine months before, because we booked us quite, quite early, like one year. So it's like by nine months before, it has to be like twenty percent paid. Then after that six months has to be like forty. Then after that by mm-hmm. by one month by 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 two weeks before the wedding, it has to be like fifty percent. I was also was like fifty percent upfront before lah. Yeah. 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 So, but we and discussed then, with the person. Then they, they they let us like every month we just pay off like maybe five percent. Like so, every month I mean I will pay five percent leading up to our wedding. Then by the time we reach our wedding, we have like fifty percent. We just paid the the day we check out. The credit card they used to pay is also important. So some people they use like UOB for cashback. Sometimes yeah, they UOB get one. the yeah yeah. And especially like a lot of people they get the Citibank like miles card that you can mm. get. Yeah, that you can go yeah. and convert into yeah Air Miles or this lah. So I think that's like an important thing to consider. Uh, what are some other like hidden costs that uh, or like other things that are added into the budget? I feel like the earlier you plan, right, the less you have to spend. I've 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 went to a uh, wedding. Uh, I I think I was a groomsman for that one as well, but he planned very late, like for the car. So he he kept thinking that there, there there is a car for his wedding, but in the end, like there wasn't. So he had to like last minute rent a car for like a nice car for his wedding, right? It was mm. so expensive, and someone. Like people know, uh, like people know that it, when, when people know that you were renting it for a wedding, uh, they jack up the price like crazy. Like, because honestly, you know you're in, you demand it, you need it. Yes, yes, yes. And especially like for some, some places, like some people, they, they are very smart. Uh, like there's this car, that he rented this car, right? It came right with all the flowers already there. Hmm. Yeah. That's what so I like, it's man. like, <laughs> they never remove, they never remove. I think like, they like permanently don't remove. And every time it drops in, they will just like put it back on again. <laughs> I think so. Uh. But yeah. it was, it, it cost so much more. Cause like, but then he says like, it, it beats like, he rent the car. Then after he still have to go and find a place that can do the flowers and like need to do the flowers. Means he has, he has to rent a car one night earlier compared to like, yeah. Then who's going to return the car? So he need to rent the car one extra day. Then on a day of like checkout, on the day of like, the night after the wedding, he straight away to return the car, which is like a logistic nightmare. La, yeah. So in the end, you have your wedding car, you have to rent in the end, like total of like two nights, two days. Yeah. Yeah. Which is sucks. It's like by right, you should just be one one day. La, one yeah. Day. Uh, by right, it's only one day. Yeah. yeah. But yeah if, you, if, you really, if you really need to have the car. And then also like to tie into that, right? Uh, Like the, the wedding gowns or this, right? The cost is also damn expensive. So a lot of times, um, uh, I know it's like you, the earlier you get it, the better because they can sort of like, you can secure what dress you want to get first. Yeah. The only thing is that there's a chance that I think most gown companies now, right? They will like rent out your gown first prior yeah, to your yeah. like wedding correct, date. Correct. But you have to just accept it. La. Yeah. yeah but my advice for this is also that, um, not for, especially for gowns, right? Like you can put in the, you go for gown, uh, go for gown rentals instead of buying gowns. You know? Yeah. It's really the it's really don't waste your money lah. Like honestly, and especially if uh those good deals like for Amanda, for my side, Amanda found a good deal and like I think only like I think one year before we got married, then he mm. she like yeah then she bought like a, a lot of accounts for very cheap, but in the end, reaching the wedding by the time we when reaching the wedding right, she felt like the gowns like not in like not very stylish anymore. Like, it's not the style currently. So, like, she, she keep asking, like, wow, I, I really like this other gown. Like, I think this style suits me more because it's, like, like more fashionable, like, three months before the wedding. Then I was just like, end of the day, it's like, you're the bride. If you really feel like it's, you're, it makes you happy, then get it, lah. It's fine. You won't regret. Like, yeah, you won't but regret it was an additional somewhere. cost, right? Yeah, additional cost. Like, additional, I think it was, like, $500 just to, like... <laughs> yeah, you could, like, rent a last gown. minute. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of the times, right, if you go early, a lot of these gown companies, right, they'll offer you like, okay, if you rent the gown with us, we'll give you like a uh, three, like three gown. Yeah. yeah. Makeup artist, uh, maybe a gown. They have a gown for your photo shoot. Uh, mm. Yeah, something like that. Uh, also give you a night gown or maybe a, uh, what's that? Uh, um, the, the Chinese. Uh, the, ch- chongsam, chongsam. Yeah, chongsam. Then uh, on top of that also, right, a lot of them, they include like, okay, we can also do your car. Like we'll do the bridal package. Ah, car, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the entire bridal uh, package suite. The suite. La. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like for instance, me and Ned, right, we went to Rico Amona. When I went to Rico, right, uh, it was very good because like we, I know like 
the style my wife more or less like she okay like she okay mm. with the style of clothes also yeah and then after that we went through but we sort of like adjusted the plan so it's like they know for instance like i i cannot wear any of their suits because my arms are like them like chunky yeah, yeah, yeah. my my, my back is like yeah buff man so, no no so i <laughs> i i was like okay i can't do any of your, your things so i don't really need it and then her dad also doesn't really need a suit so it's like, okay, we ask them to adjust. So it says that instead of like, you give us like, okay, one chong sum, one gown for the day, eight, and then also one for the photo shoot. La. So it's like, they give us yeah, like yeah. four, or, yeah, four or something like that. Extra, extra and also gowns, like, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, like and also for my car, right, what I did is that uh, I got a car, a, a black color car, but I, f- I didn't want to go to the a bridal company because they charge them expensive so it's like they find oh. like 250 to go and like do the flowers and all that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so what i did was that i go and uh went to i know it's not a bit well but i went to go and search on like carousel or this right there are some that they they really it's just like okay it's like hundred dollars right i'll do up your whole car for you lah mm. but it's, it's like their side business or whatever but they, they did up quite nice so what they did is that uh i had a wooden frame that they printed out like wooden frame that has my name media and net that I stick it on the car so it was quite yeah, nice yeah. and easy to That's do like also. So, yeah, yeah, so there are ways that you can like sort of like cut corners and stuff like that uh, another thing also is the photography and the videographer how important mm-hmm. do you think this is to you? when prioritizing during my wedding we, um, we, uh, discussing with this Amanda right photography and videography was like, of, like one of the top few for, uh, for our priorities because like end of the days like 10 years on the road of course, you. That is what you memories, remember. But, yeah, but you you remember the photos the most. You know, like you look back on the photos where you want to remember or reminisce, or you want to show to your friends or family, or you show to your kids. Now I show Bradley when when he grows up, like the video is. You yeah. know, I I want it to be nicely done so that he like oh wow so nice your wedding I re-. you know what? yeah sometimes I've been I've been to weddings where it's like the how to say ah uh, they just they. How does it, they a la carte they, it, so it's like they get one videographer from here and then they get one yeah, photographer yeah, yeah. from here and then a lot of times I find that it's not very like in sync I don't know about you like but I prefer my, my, it mine was one, a la carte yeah. <laughs> yeah but I prefer it when it's like they are like work together before or this type of thing lah but a lot of mm. times like photographers right they will tie in with like makeup packages or like stuff yes, like that yes 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 correct correct yeah, yeah. So it's important to go and see like which company tie in with where so that you'll get like okay, discount for makeup, discount for videography and stuff like that. This one is important to note, like, like don't just like go and say like, oh okay, I want to buy all take all the videographer photographer from here. Like it's okay mm. to alaka a bit, but I I personally prefer it's like when they are a team la. Come as a team, yeah. Which is, which honestly is very true because that's one of our regrets, is just that we a la carte too much. Because Amanda have a lot of preference leading up to wedding, she thought that you no, know, instead of going to this kind of brother companies, right, she she saved a lot. Which is mm. I guess she's but in the end she, we add up, right? She saved a bit, but it was a logistic nightmare. Like you have to plan like you have to, to plan until very intense. Yeah, you have to coordinate with each and every single person individually. Have to save down each and, and individual uh, the person's number. Have to tell this person to come up. Then after that, this person to come when this one. But if you if you get an entire group right, like the photographer, videographer, and like the makeup artist together, right, you tell them as a team like, oh, come up together. Like like, like you just you just coordinate with one person, or the or the or your coordinator just has to coordinate with one person instead of like so many people. Then, yeah. even for payment wise as well as like like like, I'll share, like you know like what you said is true like photographer and videographer right I felt like our their their styles very very different like our videographer yes. was like was yeah, a very pro yeah it's a yeah. he's a he's a pro and like he he I don't know, like like some people go for the moments like I I prefer those kind of um videographer or photographer that you know they, they really care about like capturing the, the, the important moments like the the, the, the mingling the, the 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 moments right maybe they're not as good or they are they are editing not as well but they are truly able to like like take a photo right when it's those important moments like wait at your first dance at your you know when the, the first time you saw your wife when you're crying and all that, like they manage to catch those specific moments but mm. some people yeah some people they just like the they are very aesthetically pleasing. They prefer like some now, and I believe a lot of the up and coming photographers they like very aesthetically pleasing shots, like very like model feel, like wow, mm. everybody like wow, like looks so good, like so serious, like like, it was, like it, those kind of shots. But yeah, so I I felt like my photographer and videographer had like no like they, are, they had they are, different teams. They had different correct. teams going on. Yeah, correct, throughout correct. the dinner. Yeah, like yeah. I yeah I had a one stop shop because I also had a live streaming. Like I, because for mm. our church service, because it was a COVID thing, 
But so in the end also for us, we prioritize the live streaming the most. So the because it was like it's the two hour thing, and then they what they did for the live streaming was really damn good lah. Like in the end also, a lot of people tell me like, oh, your live stream was really very well done. Yeah. Because of the, the yeah. yeah. Yeah, Seneca. The f- there are a few other things that it come into the banquet call, eh, the budgeting calls also. Is uh your invitation and decorations. We didn't bring that many because like only that we only gave to the traditional people. But then I realized that now, right, people are more and more like okay with like an e invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. a WhatsApp invite or like a save the date invite or something like that. So it's easier to just like oh yeah, look at your phone. Then after it's like okay, they get the invite. Yeah. I think also like our generation, we are more understanding. Like we don't need to have the physical invite because like yeah, it's still a very traditional mindset thing. Because there are sometimes where it's like the older generation they don't get the invite, they're still very upset because they don't feel very honored. It's like honored, yeah, yeah. Cause like one must and someone is like their invites have to handwrite their name once. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it is like the Chinese is like the or oh, son of don't know who. Then you must write ah, the Chinese yes, name. Yes, the, the, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so so this one also it depends on the level of uh like how much uh, your parents how care. How traditional your family, uh, yeah, your, your parents care, your grandparents care. La. Yeah. And especially yeah. whether you, and the main thing is whether you and your partner care. So like, for some, I, I met some couples at, um, that their wedding is like, even though their parents and their family care, they were just like, whatever, it's our wedding, I don't care about any of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're gangsters. But, but, for, but for myself, right, because I always, I always have this belief that like, uh, because we had a church wedding and then a dinner wedding, I always believe, right, that the church wedding is for you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And the mm. dinner wedding is more for your parents. parents it's like to honor right. your parents. Uh. Yeah, so it's like a lot yeah. of the things for the dinner, right, it's like wherever they want, I just like, okay. Like, I, yeah, like, yeah. I, I try to give, la, or whatever. I try to give my best. Law. Yeah, so you have to know, like, your parents, like, what, what are they like? Your your in-laws also, what they're going to want or not want. Uh. Okay, another thing also is actually the dowry. <laughs> yeah, I so, think, like, there's the, a big the, chunk the dowry, of it, yeah. yeah. I think the, the especially as, like people always miss like miss this cost right it adds up to a lot actually especially when yes. the dowry and the quarterly I think this both the, both these two is like it always goes hand in hand I feel because you know they, they, it's, I, I don't know how you did it mine is like when we got engaged right we sat down both both parents right then we discussed like what is the expectations for the dowry and like the quarterly yes and then uh, it was quite interesting like when I when I used Okay, we didn't like directly sit them down. It's like I asked my parents uh what they want, and then my parents they're not they're not very traditional at all. So they were like, okay, we'll just do whatever they want. And then yeah, when yeah, I asked yeah. when I asked them what they want, right? It's like uh they were saying like, oh, uh, we'll just accept whatever you give. So it's like uh so I'm just like stuck in a confused in a confused state, right? So if you're if you're gonna plan a dowry, right, I think first off the most important is your like your four your four goal or whatever, right? I mm. think it's important you the mother-in-law right brings the girl to go and see what she wants Mm. yeah don't don't i'll prefer like don't get something that you think she might like and then give and then also i'll i would prefer right if your mother gets it like first hand don't get like second hand jewelry or whatever like yeah yes 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 that's that i think that's like really very disrespectful but like i said so like especially for for my side right it's like um even like i said it was very surprising to f- see that the, some of our family members, they are a bit like became suddenly traditional when, when we asked like, must it be gold gold? Can it be white gold? Because honestly, Amanda doesn't like to wear yellow gold that much. So she mm. asked whether can she wear white gold. But she, like the, some of the family members said no. Say, must be uh, gold. Must be, must be gold. Yellow gold. Because like grand- grandparents still around. So in the end, like some of the, like end of the day, must, there, there's still a level of respect that she must do la, like for, like for traditional wise. Plus also like, um, they vary on what they want based on the dialect of the thing. So, correct, correct. Yeah. And then also how difficult it is. Like, for instance, your dad, he has this famous story about how he brought this pig, right? The whole pig to your mom. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> then after it, it's like your your mom's, uh, your mom's Emily, mom. They, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They, they don't know how to cut. Yeah. yeah. But by right, your but your father's side, right? It's like, okay, I give you the pig, you have to cut this like certain portions of the pig and yeah, give you it have to, to cut me. the mid you have to cut the middle portion out. Then you return the you return the head and the legs back to the family. Yeah. yeah. So it's important for you to know, right? That when you when you arrange this type of thing, there is a there is a like hidden meaning behind this thing. It's yeah, not like yeah. you just want to give a whole pig because it looks nice, eh? You have to yeah. know like the cut uh, or like you cut the thing 
different part you give back means what one eh? it's like got different correct, small correct, traditional correct. meanings of this that's why when I asked my uh, father-in-law right I was like do you want me to buy a, a, a I, I, it's like I really okay right? I can buy the whole pig or whatever right he's like I don't want <laughs> yeah he's just like <laughs> it's because it be, I don't know how to cut the thing I don't know how to give you back or that, yeah. La. yeah but uh, then for you right when you were do, when you were looking for all of the the like quarterly stuff right where do you go you go Chinatown and go and get it or what Oh wow! I, I I actually went. I was a bit lazy, so I I I, I did a lazier way. I went to that wedding shop, that that Chinese wedding shop. Yeah, same yes, bro. Yes, same, yes, same, yes. same, 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 same. They are good, eh? They are good, bro. It's like everything is in a set. It's like, of course, it's slightly more expensive than uh Chinatown. It is like I I followed, but my, it's only slightly. Um, yeah, it's not like it's not like a very big difference. Okay la, maybe yeah. uh, like fifty, sixty dollars difference per like. For a, a, the same set la. but but it saves honestly, you a lot of things. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time and the effort to go down to Chinatown to like go and f- like go so many stores. I tell you, when you go to Chinatown, you have so many different stores, there's so many different tradition. All the uncle auntie they tell you the different like wow, they supposed to teochun nang so then you just like, I don't know. And then honestly, like, right, because we we are not tra- we don't know all this uh, we don't know like what yeah, to get or whatever. Like, yeah. like for example, it's like so when you ask me, am I Hokkien person? I am a Hokkien person, but am I having a Hokkien wedding or am I having a like a Mendes Hakka? Am I having a Hakka wedding? Because it, I'm having both. Yeah. And not only that, when you give when you give the 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 thing to them, right? Am I giving a Hakka one or am I giving a Hokkien one? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's very confusing, so it's right? Like, yeah. So do I follow which which standard do I follow? You know, yeah. Like, like, and, right. Which standard? Yeah. yeah. That Chinese wedding shop, right? It's like they'll ask the first thing they ask is okay, what's your dialect? Then they ask what's your wife's dialect? Okay, then this yes, is what you do. Yes. This is yeah, what which you is what I, I like, man. It's yeah. a preset, yeah. It's like okay, okay, then I go down there, then they just show you me. Okay, I think do you want uh, what level of set do you want? Okay, I want, I want, I want, I want. Do you want to rent this one? So yes, 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 yes. Then they just straight away, okay, okay, you just pay here. Can I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then also like there's a lot of things that I didn't know that I have to that is like my side get and then there's a lot of things that they have to get for you like your your bright yes, side yes yes yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so so all this while right, I, from the start I was like oh okay I have to get the bathtub I have to get the shoes I have to get the the light and all things like that then after when you go to the store they're like no you don't get that that's the the, girl the side bright get, side yeah, that yeah, gets yeah, it yeah. then it's like oh okay okay yeah, yeah so in the end also it, and then one thing I like about that shop right they package the stuff very nice yeah yes, very yes, and, and nice like, yeah correct and and it gives you the feel as well. Because honestly, one thing I, I, like I share my experience when you do quarterly, right, is that at first I didn't we didn't plan it very well. So it's like I the parents, but, but like I say, end of the day, a lot of parents they because they they don't remember the traditions and like let's say both if the parents are, the grandparents aren't really very sure, then they they just like you just do law. Then after that, I was just, oh, okay, just do law. Then after that, they say the then most important right, then they get offended. <laughs> yes, so it's like. <laughs> I, at first, they only tell me I, on that day of quota I only need to bring the si tian qing and just a si tian qing and like a ang pao only. So, but I'm thinking, cannot be so weird. I go down there with just one like one box of gold and one ang pao. And I, I'm like, oh, how is this even quota it, it will look so weird on the photos and it, everything will look so off. Then I think like just two weeks before, I like I thought to myself, actually cannot lah. I I don't think can do this. That like, I don't think can. Just go down there with just two things. Yeah, I, I I went to that Chinese wedding shop. I went to ask them, like, um, do you have like the like the yeah the 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 carrier uh, the the orange carrier orange. yes yeah, the the orange carrier correct correct. Then they were like yes yes they they do. Then like actually you want to get a set with the cakes and with the teka kwan and every, and the orange and everything. Then I was like yeah. Then yes, they have the different kind everything. of nuts. They have the different <laughs> yes. kind of like yes, yeah, the different kind of nuts or like the the diff- like a tower or like the the things yeah, the small things like yeah. like things that you don't know right. that you have to go and get. Like imagine if I I think I think to myself imagine if I had to get each and every single thing right by myself right it would waste so much time. You know I I actually drove down to like a like a proper like like the the wedding cake store to like a, a very traditional one. Oh, it was so like I I went there two weeks before my, my quarterly right. They told me it's sold out for the next one month. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, huh? It's like for pre-order, it was sold out. If you want to walk in, you can buy a few pieces, but you cannot buy like a large quantity. I'm just like, wow, auntie, well, it was making me so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I remember one of my uh, close friend, right? He's he's quarterly, right? I think last minute, right? They had to buy this like this specific flavor of ice cream, right? Like, like 
and like he had to like scour almost the entire like Singapore right just to buy this specific flavor of ice cream like a <laughs> traditional flavor of ice cream then I, I was just like he, he sent yeah, me a photo say, like, yeah then I was just like wow the more of I was just like okay lah uh, what to do your, your, the bright side asks like you also can yeah, what to do yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why it's like very important right you ask them what they want and then get the answer like early correct yeah. and and it's, a, it's very important to get a good sensing of like how much are you supposed to pound I feel like this is very important like yes, you don't want to pound two liter like you don't want to pound like over your like, like, like in the end it, you know it, it, make, it makes you even more financially stressed you know like, I, not everybody can power 888 you know like, like 8888 like as a dollar, as like a yeah, there's two there's payment to the mom, right? Yeah, payment yeah, to mom, right. yes. There's a two there's a two different ang one. There's the nine ping one and the usually la, there's two different ones. There's one is like the I can't remember what's the one. It's like thank you for feeding your, your daughter to uh that, that's for them to keep completely. Then you got yeah, one, then is, one the, is a dowry. Dowry, correct. It's that the, they have to that they will take my some, then they'll pass some back to you. Correct, correct. Yeah, 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 correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't cost my friend and it's like you have to and you have to draw that amount of money out. It's it's a lot. It's yeah. it's not like a few hundred dollars. It's like a few thousand dollars that you have to draw out. And like, there's a chance that you won't see you see these thousand a few thousand dollars back. <laughs> yeah, and you must also and you must remember right the one that you give to the mother you will not get back. Ah, that one is like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but also you must don't give until so small that it's like. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, like, like disrespectful, like yeah. You can make if you give people eight, eighty-eight dollars. I, I'm pretty sure the the mother will throw the amount back in your face, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't do that, man. Okay, that is like the budgeting side. So these are the things that you have to factor in for costing. Now we're gonna go into like the roles. Okay, like mm-hmm. so, like there are a lot of roles that um you sort of like don't know until you actually plan a wedding day. Like, oh shit, there's actually like a lot of things that you have to plan for. Uh, okay, so like what what is the most important role do you think for the for the brothers and the sisters or this. So honestly, one of the most important thing, right, for, uh, I think the brothers, at a, a, especially at a, um, a banquet, right, is the AV. Yo, yeah, important brother. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Damn important. it's the most important, I feel like, it's because the banquet manager really knows what he's doing. He does like, I think hundreds of wedding a year and like every other week he's doing a wedding. He, he knows what he's doing. So like, everything else he can settle, like the food wise, like maybe the, some, a portion of the decor, but, for the the AV right, a lot of, a lot of times the the banquet manager won't know exactly what the groom wants. You know, like the the walking mm. song, the timing, the the videos and everything, the, like the background music, all these things. It's like you know, it's like these are the, the the only thing left you have to like the main things that you have to settle on your wedding day. But and 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 the, and the groom can't do it because you are honestly by by that time right your mind the, the groom's mind as during my wedding especially my mind is just even if they take off take away the music I don't think I'll notice because like you're you're talking to so many different people yeah you're like so tired you're eating you're smiling you keep taking photos I think you smile until your mouth is cramped already <laughs> yeah that's the most I've ever smiled in anything yeah I, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the boy is like huh. <laughs> you just don't stop falling there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, I yeah so for me right i think that the person that plays the music right one i would say right have to have good attention to detail uh i want this song at this timing this song at this timing this song at this timing uh this timing i'm coming out the second walk in you have to play this part of the song mm-hmm. things like that right if you're gonna specify it right because a lot of the times right you don't want to play the intro of a song you want to play like the highlight of the song or, or what, whatever that is right correct 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 yes yeah I think to make it as easy as possible, right? If you know how to like edit the timing of the song to in a way to like, it's like, okay, when I come out, you just press play, then the thing play. comes yes, out. Yes, yes. You don't like let it like linger for, like you plan to yeah. let it linger. Yeah. Or don't tell, yeah, don't tell them like, okay, at 46 seconds, then you play. So it's like the person have to grab it, then, then, then play. Ah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It's, yeah. it's very off. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy, man. And then like, I would say also like the AV person, right? They also have to be good at like syncing the video side so it's like they have to know how to do transition stuff. So it's like they have to yes, transit from the yes, music out, correct, how to link correct. the video, play the video and stuff like that. Like some of the banquet halls, like their support, right? You can just tell it's horrible. Like yes. I, I, I've helped out before, right? Like they, they don't care. They, the banquet manager and the AV guy, right? It's the same person. So yes. and, and, yeah, and, and usually they host like two or three different weddings, right? They are, they are very understaffed. So it's like they have to jump from here to there. It's, it's very bad. Yeah. Yeah. So I was the, I was the AV guy for um, Nat's cousin. 
so uh Diana, right? So they had it at Raffles Hotel, right? They are you can tell like okay, they their AV guy is good. So he's like yeah. he'll tell me like okay, th- I'll mute the thing here, then you can start playing the music, then after I will I'll increase the volume, all this, right? Yeah. You need good people like that. Like mm. so it matters. Uh. So if a lot of times if they say like, oh, it's like the banquet manager is one person and the AV guy is one person, right? A lot of time it's like you're gonna be asking your brother to go and do a lot of the heavy lifting for the AV side. Lah. You yeah. have to like know that also. Uh. Yeah. And then, uh, okay. So one of the important things is the AV guy. How important do you think is the actual like banquet manage like the like okay you are the point man for that evening? You know what the I mean. Which is why I asked you to be. Yeah, the wedding coordinator, right? Yeah. I feel like the wedding coordinator is like the the other spectrum of important. Like I feel like he's important to the sense that he makes sure that the groom can enjoy his wedding. And I feel yes. like that. That's why I feel like it's like he because the the. The AV guy is more technical, which is very important because, like, sometimes when things, like, if he's, the AV guy is not there, right, things will screw up, like, the sound, the, the, there's no background sound suddenly, or, like, the video delay, or, like, you no, know, there's uh, all these issues, but the, the, your point man, right, your wedding coordinator is the one that's supposed to prevent all this from happening. And if something happens, right, they are the ones troubleshooting, like, they have to be always alert, you know, like, oh, wow, the, no, like, oh, wow, like, it's, it's, it's time for the person to walk in, already. like, everybody must go to their place, or, like, you know, so it's, Cause like, I, I feel like, especially, like, sometimes, sometimes you may not need a, a, a very good wedding coordinator is when your banquet manager is super. It's damn good. Yeah. Damn right, good. Right. Yeah. Then it's like, like, your banquet manager was very good. Yeah. yeah. But I think my, yeah, my, yeah. my banquet manager was honestly, he's, he was like tip top. Like, wow, he really follow me, follow everybody everywhere. Then like, he keep like, yeah, he, he, was he was, yeah. And even the, he assigned the, like, one specific staff to like always be with Amanda to like, care like be like to be her care give like person yeah, take care like yeah, yeah, take yeah. care of her like to always carry her stuff carry her dress give her drinks like honestly like, wow he was really very down to detail i was very like, i was very impressed so i gave you a pause also. so but like so i went to i went to some right the the, the background manager not even there so it's just like you can tell that like, he was a lot the stress boils down to you because you, you must understand that imagine a lot of times right like, let's say you're doing the walk-in your 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 coordinator is the one coordinating hey um you must texting the, yeah, yeah, the AV guy. Now. They're going to come in soon. Um, it's a, like sometimes, especially for some places, the, it's the dry ice ready. It's like the spotlight. Is it on? Like every, everybody in position. Then, then okay, cue music. Okay. Then after the, the coordinator will be outside. Okay. Three, two, one, go for like, you know, like for like a very smooth transition. But if you're the one doing it, right? If you're the, as a groom, you're just like calling, opening the door, like, Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, yeah. very, yeah, it's very stressful. And like, it, it shouldn't be the case for your own wedding because you, you're already so stressed leading up to your wedding, right? On your wedding day, you're not supposed to be doing all this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, for me, I pick you as my the point man, right? Because I, I feel that uh, the point man has to be the most like calm. Like they have to just be the most steady person for the night. So it's mm. like you have to know the personality of your brothers. Like some, for instance, some of them, right? They might be very kanchong if you like, if I tell like, this is not working. Oh, or like, oh, you cannot have this. <laughs> it's, ah, how? Then after, I also don't know. Eh. Then after, he go and panic. Then make you panic. Like, yes, do you know what yes, I mean? Yes, like, yes, yeah. Yes. So yeah. So yeah. yeah, you need someone that is more like uh calm or maybe like more zai lah. So that's why I pick you as the the point mm. man. Yeah, and then I think also that's why you you pick me as the AV person because I'm someone that cares about like the music. Yeah, yeah. Or I care and, about the detail of the and, songs. And, of, yeah, and, yeah. And especially you know that I can trust you with like handling the the the, the like some of my other brothers. I feel like if I let them do the AV right. I wave my, so like halfway my song gone. <laughs> they, they, nobody knows. <laughs> just like, yeah, you know, like, like, I ask Dilly halfway, he's just like, Where, where's, the, where's the AV guy? I haven't seen him in the past half an hour. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, so, like, yeah, like for instance, when I was doing the AV site for uh, Diana's wedding, right? She said that you don't need to prepare any music because uh, she was saying that you don't need to prepare any playlist or anything like that because there's a live band. Mm. Yeah. So it says that oh the live band will cover the thing. But then actually right, uh there was they took a while to get ready for the thing. So there was actually like spots for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, there's no yeah, music. Empty, yeah, and because they know how much I care about music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like the background yeah, yeah, sound yeah. of the music. So I was like, no, then I go and purposely go and so every so I was sitting at the table, right? Then I was like picking, oh okay, this song will sound good. Okay, this song will sound good. Because I, I like to like make yeah, playlists yeah, or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have to and know the personality correct, of your like, yeah. And and that's the reason why like even for like the AV side, the reason why like, one of the main reasons I chose you is because like we've been talking about this since we were so young, like the songs <laughs> yeah, that you yeah. want. Yeah, and we know each we, like you know my taste. Yeah, so we well. know, yeah, we know. Especially since the previous copy bros, you you you, you really what uh, what what uh, <laughs> 
Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. pick my my number one pick. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno Mars. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Uh. And then, okay, like also like the other roles, right? Uh, for one, also it's important. It's like the decorating setup. Yes, the, this is the for the sister. The, like honestly, the main sister role, right? The main, the most important sister role. I feel right. Other than like no, no I feel like um, it's the decor. The decor. Yeah. The one to make sure that the decor is solid. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. The way that you want, and then mm. also right. Uh, I think that it's important you have one brother to help out with the, the deck. Oh, correct, correct. For the heavy yes. lifting. La. Yeah, because you want someone that can like set up and tear down everything very nicely and then mm. also like uh put it in the car for you or whatever, like, like just to help out with the... Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, why, that's one thing you mentioned, the very important thing is tear down. You don't assign someone to a uh, decor and especially responsible people to like... Wait, I, I went to one wedding where the decor person in charge, right? We were both, Amanda and I were bridesmaids and groomsmen. The, the decor person in charge, in the end, like, this, like had to like leave early or like, I think it was, yeah, I bro, she cannot, was drunk. Cannot. Then nobody helped with that down. Right? Then after that, when we leave it, only when we leave it, we're just like, eh, how come the decor mm. still all here? Then after in the end, we have to like, oh. get people who not even part of the bridal party to like, tear, help to tear down and bring it up to the hotel room. It, it was just, it was like, oh, very shocking. Oh. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah. Like I asked uh for my wedding, I asked Jordan, who is who is like one of our football kaki, right? And the reason why is that because I know that he'll be better at how to say uh, being reliable in doing a task like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's like he'll he's like very okay, uh what what did we take? So he helped me remember, okay, these are the uh, things that we took, these are the good, things that we yeah, have. Yeah. yeah, so he helped me pack it and organize it. Lah. So yeah, who you take for that thing is also important. Another thing that I think is also important for the sister, I mean, it doesn't happen for every wedding, but you said also like there was a person that was following Amanda around, mm. right? Yes. There, there has to be one sister that is like tied to the hip for your Correct. Bride, the whole for day. The bride. Correct. The like, whole day. The, and it has to be someone who is like not very kanchong, but very warm. You know, like someone very tai, very warm and like, oh, like always show, knows how to show care and concern and very encouraging oh. to your bride. Cannot be someone yeah. who like Kind of be those ha friends, you know, like like some some of the like some of your bridesmaids should be not only ha ha friends, they're very like fun. They're a lot about the fun, but yeah. this 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 these are the moments where you are very tired. You need someone to like give you, make sure you are you got enough to drink. Make sure you are eating a bit. Make sure yeah, caring your caring yeah very caring make sure your dress is care uh because honestly your dress is going to be very heavy and at first it would it won't seem like much but if after hours of like like walking around with your dress right you'll feel very very shack so you need your, your bridesmaids who are caring because like if you're talking about bridesmaids who are like very fun and everything of course they have their own individual roles that are, they're, they're more suited for but a lot of times they neglect like oh but the bride is struggling with the dress then or like oh because they're all having fun at Dima and they're having fun with you but the, the, the caring friend is always the one like, oh let me carry the dress let me make mm. sure the bride is drinking oh I don't think she's drinking water okay and especially uh, I feel like one of the key roles uh like for her to do right, especially since this one um is always with the bride, right? Is to take photos and videos of like the moments, the behind oh, okay, the scenes okay, moments. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like the social media stuff or the like the photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Because yeah, the, the bride not going to have the phone. So I've I've went to um uh, a wedding before, right? Where because they didn't invite that many um young people, right? Mm. Like on Insta story, right? Not like very little people tag them. Like almost mm. like less than ten. Honestly, it would be good if like one of the bridesmaids is the one like can I don't like capturing these moments, uh. Yeah. Yeah, and then also like the sister right that is attached to the hip right have to be good at like undressing and dressing your bride. Ah yes yes yes. yes. Very important also because like uh if they how say uh, they they like a bit not good with the like they will uh, lose the bobby pin or like they will go and pull out the dress the thing never put properly or something like yeah. that. Yeah, all these sort of thing matters because they'll be doing a lot of changing like if you go and travel and do the quarter they have to go mm. and change the dress then change to the outfit then back to a dress. Yeah, and then especially if you're like doing a dinner and stuff like that lah. And then uh okay. Another thing I also think is very important is like the role of, okay, uh, the tea ceremony, right? Okay, this person mm, is next. Yes, this person yes, is yes. next. This person is next. Yeah, you need a, like a detailed list and then you need someone to follow up the list well. Lah. Yeah, but I think overall, right, for me, the most important thing of planning, right, is that you have to plan it super detailed. And like people will say like, oh, okay, oh, why, why must you make it so detailed? It's such an easy, it's such an easy event or whatever, right? The more detailed it is, right, the more that they cannot screw up because it's like, yes, do you know yes, what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, if the more vague you are, means you have to really brief this, the, your coordinator super well mm. so that 
because the more vague your, your instructions are, right, the people, a lot of people will always ask questions, like, huh? So what do you mean by this? And a lot, of, a lot of times they won't think about it only on the day itself. Like, eh, hey, actually, uh, does this mean that we have to be here on that day? Or does this mean, yeah, then after that, it's like, yeah. cannot like, be, we, everybody so asks the groom, fetch? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, who yeah, I fetch? Yeah. Uh, who, who, who am I fetching? So who, who's in my car? Like, what yeah. do I have to put? Uh, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. What time do we leave? So yeah. if I go to the church, who goes where? Like, who follows me to the church? Correct. Yeah. Like, hey, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the church address again? Uh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have to put in detail, like, specifically, like, okay, like, for instance, my wedding, right? I put Brandon fetch these four four girls, right, at yes, this timing yes. to the church. Mm. Then I put at, uh, but then after I say, it's like, okay, this group, they're going to uh, follow my wife. Like, Shimin is following my wife, right? She will follow my car. Now I'll say like that. Okay. And then we will leave at this timing. And then after everyone else will follow my brother who's driving the other car to go and set up. But they will leave at this timing. Uh, one more last role, right? That I think is actually very important is the receptionist people. And yes. I will, I will pick someone that is like knows your family well. Because when you start to invite Chinese people, right? Like the, the elders in the banquet, right? A lot of the time you don't really know what's their exact name. So you might say like, oh, fourth, don't know who, or like fourth fifth, uncle. don't know who. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> then I'm like, then after they, they come to the table, oh, my name is like that. Then you're like, uh, who are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not- <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not on the list. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think important, you got to have someone that uh, knows both sides of the family well. Yeah, mm. so it's like, okay, fifth auntie, I know you are the fifth auntie. Or like, yeah, you are the fourth yeah. auntie, yeah, fourth uncle, whatever. Lah. And then uh, also one more thing is that someone that can safeguard the money. But uh, I think we can end it off with this last segment, right? Which is uh, things that you don't know until you actually like go through the wedding. So it's like things that you you, you don't... Uh, for Brandon, what, what are some things that you like consider is like things that you don't know until you plan a wedding? Or like when you go through the wedding that you realize... I feel like one of the main thing, like one of the misconceptions I went into a wedding while planning for it was that I always thought that restaurant was cheaper and at the same time, like buffet weddings were cheaper. But no. it's not. Yeah, I calculated it. I, me and Amanda, we literally went to get quotes and like we added in everything down to the, the, the dollar, right? Like it works out to be maybe slightly cheaper, but we lose, you lose out on so many different perks. Mm. You get what I mean? You yeah. lose out on perks. Yeah. You lose out a lot of perks. Like hotel rooms. Hotel yeah. rooms. And I feel like one of the main things, alcohol. especially alcohol, correct? Like if to if I add in alcohol at the restaurant, right, I'm paying like almost like one point like twenty percent more expensive than the mm. than, than a banquet. Whereas I don't even I I don't even have the hotel rooms, I don't even have the banquet managers to support, I don't even have the the like LED screens. Some you know, some restaurants don't have. Yeah, then you're just like, wow. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Then, then even for buffets at um at, at at hotels, I don't know why in Singapore it's so much. It's like not. It's not cheap at all. Like, no, it's like, not cheap. Yeah. yeah, because it's like because Singapore buffets right in in general, they earn money a lot. They earn quite a lot. So for you to like take away the whole hall of their buffet right, you have to pay premium money. Yeah, you get what I mean right? Because they they can get business from outside. Yeah, so it's like, but they 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 are giving you the, uh you the wedding slot like like this wedding night slot right. Whereas if another person uh book this for their wedding right, like the way they would have it's like a opportunity cost for them like it's cost end of the day sooner or later and some they, in their mind is like someone's going to book this for a banquet or a wedding so mm. it, it, yeah they only they will, if you book a buffet we only make it like maybe ten twenty dollars yeah I remember, I remember correctly it was something like. Twenty to forty dollars cheaper mm. per person per pax, but it's like, huh? That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, man. Yeah, and uh, I think for me, right, is that you don't realize how fast everything is happening on that day. Ah, uh, yes. And then you won't realize in that moment, like, uh, like Mario Kart. It's just like, how fast can you get from one checkpoint to another checkpoint? The most important, right, is that you have to make instructions clear to the people that are involved, lah. Yeah. Yes. What about you, man? Uh, last, for me, last... it's especially for as it was, yeah, we we say so much, right? I feel like on end of the, you have, you have to a lot of things come boils down to you and your wife and your as as a couple, right? What's truly like, very important to you, you know? Because mm. end of the day, like I feel like you have you have to like, have like. Like that, that thing that you really care about, that you really want. Like for example, for me, I really wanted mm. a first dance for my wedding, and a mother, a mother, a mother, son, and father daughter dance. I felt like that would be a moment, right? That, like you will remember, you know, that that mm. you, you that you will really 
take away from you like like you think back 20 years down the road like you will always treasure that moment so relating up well, I think one day before the, the wedding everybody every bride and groom will say the same thing Oh, I can't wait for the, I can't wait for tomorrow to come to for it to be over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's while like, you're doing it, right, the whole time you're thinking, I can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, when, then when you're done, right, it's like a a, a sense of release, like yeah, just like, it's just yeah, like peace. Oh, wow, finally, it, yeah, finally, because it's like months and months of preparations, you know, and like worrying and like thinking and like, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Ah. Oh. The beauty of weddings but also like it's not easy to plan so it's that's why easy. yeah that's why important plan it properly that was our wedding episode get, get out of here <laughs> oh look at the time the coffee shop is closing but in the meantime if you enjoyed the episode please remember give it a like a thumbs up and subscribe we have episodes that drops every Monday but at the same time also if you're into football we have the football kaki that drops every Wednesday and if you're into game show formats you have the SG Draft Podcast that drops every Friday. Also, uh, in our Instagram page, we have a weekly tournament poll that is related to this Kobe Bros episode. Please remember to head over there and vote right now. Uh, we hope you guys that are planning for weddings have a smooth planning process and you have a wonderful marriage ahead. But remember, Kobe a day keeps the troubles away. Hey, baby. Think I want to marry you. Marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking Bruno Mars first. <laughs> no. <laughs>